I tell me I can't. You can't do this. You can't do that. And I'll show you I can. <laughs> Escape Your Limits is about escaping what you've believed or other people have said is impossible and gone on to make it possible. What, what would be an example of escaping your own personal limits? You know, actually, one of the things I had up on my on my, on my board when I, when I fought, because I put up look, right, it was different things on my mirror when I was training. One thing, one thing I, I put up, and I, I, no one wants to see Chuck fight. Something someone said to Dana when, he, when, he, when they first, when the Fertitas bought, for, and the Fertitas when they first bought the company. It was basically, um, you know, Tito's management, those people, and other people um, were like, he, 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 if he's your champion, you're, you know, I think Tito's manager at the time said, if Chuck's your champion, you'll die. There's no, he's, he's got no personality, he's got no, he's got no, no fan appeal, kind of, wasn't, I wasn't a loud mouth, I wasn't, that drove me more than anything. Really? To be, I put, I, that was up for the rest of my career after that. That was after the, um, after one, one of the fights, one of the first fight that the UFC, that uh, Dana and Lorenzo put on, when they took over, and I, I had that up. And the funny thing is, I came back, I came out the next fight, Next fight, I was there, and, and Tito, Tito, like I was weighing in, Tito, holy abdominals, Batman. <laughs> like, oh, so I showed up with dabs, and uh, I'm like, I was, I was just, it was just, it, that, to me, was a, a big driving force. And like, I, I you know, I, I said, they, they were complaining about, okay, you're not, before I, before I became champion, they, you're, you're just not doing good enough for your interviews. I went on and got an interview coach. Like, you tell me I can't, I can't entertain people, like, I, I'll, find, I'll figure it out. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change my personality, but I, I, I can answer. You know, it, it comes down to like I've, my best interviews ever have always been with guys that are, are really good at doing interviews. Right. You know, those really good, they're great interviews. Why? Because I can talk. Yeah. I can have a conversation with somebody. I just, I'm not. You know, I don't have a bunch of sound bites. I don't have a bunch of sound bites <laughs> made up, and I'm not like a meathead. Like I'm yeah. not gonna just go out and. Say stupid. I'm not. You know. I'm not, not going to give you your typical, uh, you know, WWE type <laughs> type one. I'm not that. Nothing wrong with it. That's good too. And, those, and the guy. I'm not, I'm not mad at guys like Chael. Chael Sonnen was one of those big loudmouth interview guys. I, I allow about guys said crazy stuff, but hey, he got him got himself a couple title shots, and, and he's one of the most boring fighters out there. Yeah. He's like a throwback to the ground and. Around the lay and pray guys, you know, like, but uh, that's, sorry, like, <laughs> like messing with them. I told me I can't, like, I'm not gonna be able to, you can't, you can't do this, you can't do that. And that's your I'll fuel. Show, I'll, I'll, show, I'll, I'll show you I can, <laughs> you know. Now, I, I, and I, I've, and I'm not saying for people like that, that doesn't mean like something I don't wanna do. Like, if, if I don't wanna do it, you tell me not to do it, that's not gonna make me do it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, you don't have to, oh, I dare you, I don't care. <laughs> dare me for anything. I don't. I don't care. But you, you want to? No one asks if I if it's something I want to do, and I tell me I can't. I'm not, I'll, I'll figure out a There's way. There's going to be some problems. <laughs>